morning you guys it's Karen and I'm here to talk about my morning skincare routine so I haven't done one for two months um, but remember I said I was going to come and regularly do my kind of current skincare routine so that you're up to date with what I'm using and the good thing about this is it hasn't changed too much I do have um, two different things in here though and I feel like I'm getting to a place where I'm repurchasing more skincare rather than just trying lots of different things. I'm finding things that I'm kind of settling on, you know. So, in the morning, the first thing I do is use my micellar water. Um, this is the Yes to Cucumbers at Micellar Water, probably my favourite micellar water. Um, it comes with a pump bottle. This is just a top from something else. I can't remember what it was from, but... Um, I love this so I go over with a reusable cotton pad go over my face go over my eyes and that just sort of cleanses off any oils from the night etc etc then on to the first product I use which is the geek and gorgeous sea glow so I was using this the last time I talked to you I was using it in the morning but I don't think I was using it first I think I was using my niacin first which was the bee bomb from geek and gorgeous I still have got the bee bomb and I do love that but I happen to see this and by this this is niacinamide 20% by revolution so I'm actually using the Sea Glow first because this niacinamide is very, it feels quite oily, you know, it feels quite thick. So following the rule of thinner serums first. So I go in and put this all over my face. I'm still not using it on my neck um, and I don't use it on my eyes, obviously. So I'm just using it all over my face. And I really do feel like I had a little, a few weeks without using this and I felt like I, I, could, I was missing it, you know, and I feel like having it back in my routine, my skin is... I don't even know what it is. It's one of those things where you can't just put your finger on it. You just can't put your finger on it. I just don't know exactly what it is, but my skin feels better using this. So um, I'm happy to do that. So I put that on first. It's quite a watery serum. And then I'm following it with this Revolution Niacinamide 20%. Um, and I really like this. It's very, like I said, it's very sort of oily feeling. Is it oily feeling? No silky feeling it feels very silky and it takes a moment to sort of sink in you know but I really like that it actually feels very moisturizing um so I'm enjoying that and then the final product it's only going to be a short video this one but I wanted to let you know particularly about this one this is the Ultra Sun SPF 50 face fluid um this is everything you could want it to be it's vegan it is a combination of tinazorb and uvinal and it also has some titanium dioxide in it. Um, you know, fragrance free, alcohol free, all that good stuff. But I've done a whole video reviewing this. Um, but this is the first one I've used. Do you remember I was saying, I can't remember which video, but in one video I was saying to you guys that I've been noticing with certain SPFs that my freckles are coming through all across my forehead I had freckles and I could see they were getting really, really dark on my nose. Um, and I know a lot of you would say, SPF doesn't protect it, it it shouldn't necessarily block the sun you know if I'm wearing an SPF 50 but I know that I can wear an SPF 50 or an SPF 40 and be out in the sun for five minutes without getting freckles you know so I was surprised to see that it was happening with the Australian gold and what was the other one Australian gold I can't remember which other one I use if I remember I'll put it on the screen I'll have a look through my different SPFs but I have noticed that I have been out in the sun with this ultra sun I've barely got any left um and I actually considered repurchasing this today I saw it's on offer on look fantastic I'll link it for you um but I thought it's ridiculous because I've still got versed and you know I've got quite a few in there and I want to use those up um, and then I think I will probably repurchase this but this is a fluid um, and it is lovely and moisturizing it's got squalane in it um, like I said it's all the sort of modern filters it's got a UVA UVB PA plus 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 on the front which I know a lot of you like to see um, and I, yeah I've been wearing it and it has been bright sunshine and I have been walking into the sun with Watson for a good 10-15 minutes and I noticed that I had no freckles showing at all when I got home it wasn't I could not see that I'd been out in the sun and that's really really good so very very impressed with that so I wanted to tell you about that and it is really good under makeup it is not one that makes you feel matte there are a couple not many but there are a couple of sunscreens that are so so matte you're kind of like wow you know that feels like it's sucking the moisture from my skin but neither does it leave it feeling greasy I mean I do like to leave just a couple of minutes before applying my makeup but I have also gone straight in with makeup um I've got this under my makeup today um but yeah it doesn't feel greasy but it feels hydrating my skin never feels tight it's really really good so 
that's everything for the morning routine the evening routine is obviously a lot more complex and i will do that video next but like i said i just wanted to share with you the small changes so let me know what you're using at the moment in the morning what are you what are you going to do with spf are you going to change to an spf 30 do most of you wear spf nowadays i think most of the world has caught up and is aware of using an spf daily aren't they i was asked if i could do a video on what products i change to with it changing seasons you know going from summer to autumn or summer to summer to winter but i don't actually do that i don't change anything the only thing the only very small thing i can think of is i will use up my spf products that are spf sort of 45 or 50 in the summer i'll make a point of using those and then when it gets to winter i will go as low as spf 30 if i have one and then use everything lower during the winter that's the only thing that i really change i don't actually notice that difference that much difference in my skin in the winter compared to the summer i notice differences more with my hormones honestly um i know they say that your skin gets drier in the winter maybe i will notice maybe i've just my skin thinking about it hasn't been that dry over summer so maybe i will notice it being drier in the winter and then if it is, I'll just add in something like squalane. I'll add in an oil, and I haven't used an oil in my routine over the summer. So, um, but apart from that, yeah, I, I don't, I don't consciously change anything. I need to tell you what makeup I've got on. Do you know I do this as much for me as for you? Because otherwise, people would ask, and I would have no clue. I wouldn't remember. <laughs> um, so I've got on the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Um, and actually I really like the way it looks today and it's an interesting story. <laughs> I used today a new beauty blender. I need some more beauty blenders and I just thought I would like to have like five or six but I'm not gonna buy five or six beauty blenders, they're so expensive. So I've been trying ones from Amazon and you know, looking up which ones are recommended and the one I use today is by Aesthetica. It's a really weird feeling. It actually feels quite heavy when you wet it. Anyway, I will review them. Um, but I used that today. It's come out really nice. But yesterday I used um, a Real Techniques one. It's called Miracle Air, I think. And I used it with the foundation that I know I love, the other Kat Von D one, the True Portrait one. My foundation looked terrible. So, so I don't know whether it's just luck that today I like my makeup or whether it really is down to you know the tools that you use but like I said I really think that that beauty blender has worked out well today so it's by Aesthetica and I got it from Amazon I thought I keep thinking I've got lipstick on my teeth because I've not got a liquid lipstick on um I am what am I wearing on my eyes on my eyes I have got the Bare Minerals loose eyeshadow in blush um on my cheeks is the NARS blush in sin and then on my lips I put my Stila liquid lipstick in Caramello on, but then I thought I needed a bit more colour. So I've got this little set of um, Bite Beauty creamy matte lipsticks and this, so I put that on top and this is in Party Punch. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.